What's up guys, Hey King here bringing you a live reaction to the E3 2019 Microsoft conference uh, trailer, or oh, trailers, trailers, since these were shown during the Microsoft conference. Ugh. Anyway, the next stop is Dying Light 2, I don't know why I'm reacting to this, uh, I wasn't a big fan of Dying Light 1. I mean the first half of the game was, was pretty cool to be honest, uh, I really enjoyed the first half. But then the second half with the new city and that, you know, I, I, I never quite enjoy myself with games that do that all the time. Like, it, it, how can I explain it? You, you know those games you play where you've got a big open area, right? And then you finish that section and then you're in a new open area. And then it's like, because you feel like, oh, you're about to be near the end. But then no, you've got this entire area to do. And then it just drags on and it becomes repetitive after that point. Like... Like, and it should have been a point where the game could have just ended at that point. Instead, it's like it just keeps on dragging and going there. So, I really didn't like that. Like, it, the game bought the, the hell out of me. Like, it was just, it was just, it got to a point where it was just like, I had enough. So, but, you know, the whole concept of parkouring uh, and escaping zombies and that, that's bloody cool in my opinion. It's awesome, in fact. Um, but, it, it just didn't quite do it for me. Like, it was just too much, if that makes sense. Oh, I would have preferred a more... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, too many games, especially open world games, they just go for quantity over quality, right? There's too many games that, you know, I would prefer playing a game that takes me a good 20 to 30 hours to complete, versus a game that takes 100 hours, do you know what I mean? Like, just that, that stuff just, it's just boring for me, do you know what I mean? Like, it, it becomes repetitive and boring, and then in the end, you're just, you're just sort of playing for the sake of playing, like, and, and the, the excitement and mood just leaves. And, yeah, like, I hate that crap. I hate it. Anyway, let's let's see what this game looks like. Uh, hopefully it's better. I'm, I'm wondering if there's gameplay in this. Here we uh, go. Oh. My father saved my life. He told me never to forget who I am. Troy Baker? Where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Oh, that was cool. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. Oh, they could. This tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. is Aiden and I am infected interesting okay no, that was interesting that was fine uh, interesting concept if it turns out good, I'll, I'll end up getting it properly and playing it. Because again, I did like the first half of the first game, but it just it just got very repetitive, and it's just one of those games I wouldn't replay or or prefer to have in my collection. You know what I mean? So I want something more faster. If that makes sense, um, that was fine. That was fine. I'm curious. I'm curious how this will turn out. Huh, interesting. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. As always, like and subscribe wherever, and I shall see you. And I shall see you. Take care. Bye.